right, now we're doing 7Q, Dictionary from Two Lists. This is by Opportunity356, and 95% of the people like it. So we got two lists, possibly of different lengths. The first one consists of keys, the second one consists of values. We're gonna write a function, create dict, with uh, keys and values as the arguments, uh, that returns a dictionary created from keys and values. If there are not enough values, the rest of the keys should have a none, or a, for us, it's gonna have a JX, excuse me, it's gonna have null value. Uh, if there's not enough keys, we're just gonna ignore the rest of the values, all right? So right here, uh, we see A, B, C, and D as the keys in one, two, three, so this is probably gonna have a null, and it does. Uh, here's this one, A, B, C, uh, they're gonna have one, two, three, and then four is not even gonna be involved in this situation, all right? And that's pretty much it. So for this one, we're going to do a for loop. Uh, let's start off by declaring a variable for the result. So let result, and this time we're going to have to make it equal an empty uh, object like that. And then we're going to do a for loop iterating through the keys. Okay, so we're going to say for let i equals zero while i is less than keys dot length. We're going to say i plus plus. All right, and the keys are basically in an array like this or just like this. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to say uh, if because we're checking to see if this is as long as this or this is longer or whatever, you know, just in case we got to do null. So we're going to say if, uh, <clears throat> pardon me, if I is less than values dot length. All right, so we're gonna check to see, like if, uh, like on this one, if I gets to here, so zero, one, two, three. So um, we're gonna go zero, one, two, three. So if I is less than values dot length, we're gonna have it be one of these values, right? So we're gonna go like this. We're gonna say, um, we're gonna say, what are we gonna say? We're gonna say result at keys at i equals equals uh, values at i, all right? And if not, so else, we're gonna say uh, values, excuse me, key result at keys at i equals null, all right? And let's do a, uh, let's just say return result, test that out. And it does it, all right? Let's do a console.log on here real quick, just so we can see what it looks like. Console.log result. And let's take this one out of here. Let's test that out. All right, it looks like this, basically. Uh, let's do one of the ones which is longer. Let's get this test out of here. Test that one. Oops. One second, one second. Delete that, test it. All right, you see it's basically the same. Hmm, anyway, whatever. You see it working. So let's say uh, return result like that. Test it one more time. Looks good, attempt it. Looks good and submit it. All right, so you see this one here. Basically, they did the same thing we did. Uh, they used the, um, what is this thing called? The, uh, what is this thing called? The ternary operator or conditional operator here instead of doing the for loops, excuse me, instead of doing the uh, if statements. Right here, they did the reduce method, which, I mean, that's cool and all. Uh, if you wanted to do that, making like a, I don't really even understand what's going on right here. I'd have to look at it for a while, but you can check out the rest if you feel like it. Let's go to mine. Uh, just Le Liza and me and best practice in my opinion. Very much like it. And we'll see you next time.